Well, welcome back. And as I said, you wouldn't be disappointed. And I swore to God, and of, of course, that's the segue to Dominic Scaglione, the star of Jersey Boys, our homegrown superstar. Yes. Welcome, Dominic. It's great and thank to be you for here. being here. Thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. You know, I feel like a proud father on some level. I've, I've known Absolutely. you since you were a little boy, star quarterback at West Orange High, yes, the I star was. of the uh, of the high school musical. But but most people kind of stop there and go in a more conventional route. Uh, but you decided to chase the dream, and, and you're getting there. Yeah. I'm very, very lucky. I feel very blessed. I'm um, in a great show, and uh, life is good. Well, we got to think back to those 90s or 96 area. That was the, the time of the boy bands. Of course. And, uh, and that's uh, that's what you did. You put together, I think, your brother, yourself. Yeah, and uh, my cousin Paul. And we uh, I didn't um, got accepted to Rutgers School of the Arts down there, and, and we uh, decided to take the, uh, take the other shot. road. Take a shot. We got it signed by Columbia with Tommy Mottola. And uh, uh, we did a gr we had a we had a great run. We we got signed, and then we um, uh, signed with Beyonce Knowles, uh, Destiny Child's uh, father, as a manager. And we went on a 36 city tour with Christina Aguilera and Destiny's Child. It was really amazing. It was it was heady uh, stuff for a 19 yeah. It was old just it was incredible. The experience was great. Uh, we went to Ireland. We went to uh, England, and we were doing uh, stadiums for about 20,000. So it was really cool. So that had to be, and, and, and that uh, part of your career lasted, what, about four or five years? About, yeah, about four or five years. Yeah. Uh, uh, we ran into some managerial issues, and the climate of the industry changed as well. The rock stuff was coming back, and the, you know, the style of music was, was different. You were R&B kind of. It was a, more uh, R&B. You know, uh, uh, some guys from Boys and Men wrote our stuff. Robin Thicke wrote the majority of our album. We wrote a lot of our stuff. So it was more on the urban side, but we were still four white guys singing you know, R&B. And at the time, that was really popping. But uh, you know, when we when we uh, severed ties with with uh, the Knowles family and, and and with Sony, we got a couple offers. But like I said, the industry was changing, and uh, things just kind of fell off. And uh, it just if it was easy, out. everybody would do it. That's right? true. Is and to get where we to. did, uh, I feel very lucky. A lot, a lot of people could say that they've gotten that far, and the experiences that I've had uh, were just incredible. And, so. and, and it would have been easy maybe to go in a different direction. And, and I know your brother, one of your bandmates, if you will, decided, hey, I'm going to college and law school. Law school, yeah. So we're very proud of him. He's actually my lawyer now, so I don't have to pay anybody to do my contracts, which is great. Yeah. And, 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 and law was in the blood as your dad, Dominic, yep. uh, FBI, FBI agent with a venerable career and a wonderful reputation yes, for he many, is. many years. Yes, he is. And he's uh, a great father and real supportive. Can't sing a note, though, Dad. Can't. Well, he does his oldies once in a while. I hear him on Friday night with the glass of wine he sings his oldies hey, well speaking of oldies so you had gone to a crossroads as to what uh, what you were going to be up to your brother making one decision and you still wanting to you know have a life in the entertainment field mm -hmm. so uh wasn't it mom and dad that maybe gave you a little kick toward uh, uh that's exactly right sometimes you hear stories about parents that really try to veer their kids off from from the art world and the acting world but since i was 12 my parents especially my father my mother as well she's the backbone but my father was really the one to say this is what you got to do kid you know we don't want you don't have to go to college just this is this is your focus and he was the one who really uh, um, knew about the Jersey Boys and was like Dom this is something you got to get into and it was at first it was tough because I was very disenchanted about the singing you know that, that I was a, a trained opera singer to a point you know in my own way and well, I and mean, it's a perfect uh, synergy. You are a Jersey boy, you know. Yeah. Albeit Frankie Valley is yeah. maybe forty-five years or so your senior. Uh -huh. Nonetheless, you know, family is family, and family I don't want to stereotype, but an Italian family dinner together, yeah. close, Absolutely. and I know your family well, and that's mm -hmm. uh, the way you grew up. Sunday dinner, two o'clock, and, and Frankie was always playing the two Franks, Sinatra and Valley. They were always the ones playing in the background. So I, I, we grew up with the music. So once this show came, it was. Oh, I, I will admit, walking by the theater, I was always like, "Wow, that would be nice. That would well, be cool." Well, you didn't start in Broadway. I think you were part of the traveling troupe out to Vegas. Well, yes. When I got the job, uh, real quick, cool story. The audition process takes a little long. A uh, little long. And uh, at first, um, I went to an open call, and they they just said I wasn't ready. So it was a little it was a little tough to to, to, to take. But in the meantime, they called me back, and about a, uh, three months later, in that in that time, I was training my voice and hooked up a. a, a um, a, a microphone in my house in West Orange and would just put the records on and sing them and my parents would be downstairs and it was kind of annoying to a point because it was very very loud. Well yeah I, I had to have the police go there. Yeah I was going to say the, the cops showed up a couple yeah. times for, for volume and uh, <laughs> so uh, I got my voice ready for the stuff and I went in the second uh, time and uh, the, the musical director said Don we love you everybody loves you but there's a, there's a, a roadblock Bob Gaudio who is the writer of all the songs for the Four Seasons sure. has to come and say okay so I had been singing since like 9 o'clock in the morning. He comes in finally, comes walking through the door. It was really amazing and intimidating. And he's from Belleville. And he sure. knew a couple guys that my father knew, some cops. So we got to talk and make a long story short. I did the audition, and he came out. 
and he said, uh, so you want to go to Vegas? The, the, the opening was, was, was for Las Vegas, and, and once I, I finally cracked and I said, can I call my dad? And Because my dad was working down in Newark at the time. Sure. And Gordio said, let me call him. So Bob awesome. Gordio called my father, and, and, and my dad answered the phone. First he thought it was a joke. But then it was it, and they sent me to Vegas, and that was it. How long, how long was your run in Vegas? I was supposed to be there a year, but I went for, it was about two months. One of the producers came and, I guess, liked what I was doing, or something happened where I was lucky enough, and they sent me to Broadway. It wasn't just the producers standing ovations all the time to my eyes adore you, as yeah, I understand it. Was, uh, it. It, was, it was cool. It was very humbling. You know, it's, 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 I, I always said nobody should get that kind of applause, but uh, it has a lot to do with the show and, and the music. You, you know, and now here you are on Broadway. I mean, that's the epicenter. That is the Super Bowl, whatever yeah. you want to equate it to the White House for what you do, you're there, yeah. and you're in really one of the continued to be hottest shows, and, and you happen to be the star. It's it's really I pinch myself every day. It really is when I think about what happened to me in the last two years and what the, I've experienced and, and what I've been able to do and get a second chance at the business and see see the majority of kids out there you know pounding the pavement. I just feel like I'm I'm making a living at something that I love to do, and it's really just pretty amazing. Uh, you, you know, and, and you're, you're good about saying love, and you, know, you were mentioning something of love to do, but it, it's hard. Now, talk about, like, you know, it's not, you make it look like it's effortless, and that's what you're supposed to do for my 80 bucks to buy the ticket, yeah. but, but it's hard work. Well, for kids getting into it, I, I mean, it sounds cliche, but it is true. It, it really is not a lot of glamour involved. I mean, the, the theater is a very uh, low, not low paying, for, but for the work that we do, eight shows a week, six shows a week, it's, uh, it's, grind. it's, a, it's a grind, and the competition is huge, but once you get there, keeping yourself healthy to do those eight shows, to do those six shows, that live theater. It's, uh, it takes a lot of upkeep, chiropractors and voice teachers. and So it's not all glitz and glamour. It is a lot of a lot Yeah, of it, work. it's terrible when you come out of the stage door after the program and then just the ladies are just there waiting that's with their programs one, yeah. to that's be how, signed. Yeah, that, I know that's, it's that's rough. That's the trying part. It's, it's rough. My heart, you know, it's, it's weak. And, and, but you know what you have to be? You really, I'm telling you, you know, just from speaking to enough people, I, I mean, most of the time you're out of work. Most of the time you're rejected. Yeah. It's not easy. No. You know, you talk about an ego. You, it's just the antithesis of that, right? Yeah. An actor act, can't have an ego. Yeah, I'm just talking to Frankie Faison in, 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 the, in the green room, and he's a seasoned actor, and he was, we were talking about what's next, what's next. Everybody always has that question, and it's, uh, it, that's always a question in your mind, that, that security, you know, that the idea of, of, of William that. Shatner, when I read his book, and he's been, you know, had an incredible career for 60 years or so, yeah. and, and, and that was his theme. What's next? You're always next? worried about what's yeah. happening. For me, it's like, can I just enjoy? Because a lot of times you're on that stage and you just don't enjoy what you're doing. So for me, uh, to get the late start and get back into the business in the second chance, plus the show, I couldn't see myself, the fulfillment of Frankie. It's like the role from start to finish, you start out as a young kid. Every aspect of, of act for an actor, emotionally, you go through, coupled with the fact that you get to sing 27 hit songs. I, I, I'm, I'm fulfilled every time I do it, really. Well, you, you get to hit, sing, hit songs, you get to be a rock star every yeah, night, so now I'm going to ask, what's next? I don't know. Uh, personally, I love the role. Uh, um, the producers have a lot of faith in me. Uh, hopefully, I'll be with it for a little while. Like I said, it's a great gig. I got a really good agent, the Buckwald Agency uh, in New York City. Um, they talk, you know, they're talking about television and film. I don't want to rule anything out. But for right now, I'm just really having a great time playing Frankie on Broadway. It's well, really well, uh, there's nothing better for any of us out there that if you're doing what you love and you happen to be great at it on top of it, uh, we're all proud of you. Thank you so much, Simon. I appreciate it. promise you it. come see us again? Absolutely. It was my pleasure. All right. My thanks. And, uh, and what I want all of you is to come see us again. This was uh, fun to, uh, to get together and have our uh, episode of, inaugural episode of NJ Today. So uh, in the meantime, I want everybody to have a, a great day in New Jersey and... We'll see you next time.